Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the video series on past paper questions of O level physics 5054. In this video, we will discuss past paper 1 questions related to the topic of waves that appeared in the years 2017 and 2018. So, this question is from October November 18 variant 1 question number 18 which term is the number of crest of a wave passing a point per second now you must have studied different terms related to the waves the number of wave cycles per second is known as the frequency it is the same thing the number of crest of a wave passing a point per second. So it must be frequency option B. Next question is question number 22 of October November 18 variant 2. Which statement about a water wave is correct? The amplitude is the vertical distance between a trough and a peak. No, this is not right statement because the distance between a peak and trough is twice of the amplitude, not the amplitude. So, option A is incorrect. Option B is the frequency is the number of troughs passing a point in one second added to the number of peaks passing a point in one second. No, the frequency is the number of waves passing a point in one second and to count the number of waves we can choose either the troughs or the peaks not both we do not add so B is also incorrect. C option is the speed is the horizontal distance traveled per second by a peak. Yes, this seems correct because speed is the distance divided by time and the distance traveled per second by a peak. So, this seems the right option. Option D, the wavelength is the horizontal distance between a trough and a peak. No, this is not right statement because the wavelength is the horizontal distance between two consecutive peaks or between two consecutive troughs. So, D is also not correct and option C is the right answer. Okay, so our next question is question number 26 from May June 17 variant 2. The diagram shows a water wave in a ripple tank being refracted at the boundary between region P and region Q. So, here is a region P and it is refracted in the region Q. How does the wave in the region P compare with the wave in region Q? Okay, wavelength and speed. Okay, so if you see the wavelength, wavelength, these are the wave fronts. And the distance between two consecutive wave fronts is the wavelength. So, this is the wavelength here. And here, this distance is the wavelength. Distance between two consecutive wave fronts. So, it is clear that the region in region P, the wavelength is greater than that in the region Q. So, C and D are eliminated and we have to choose now from option A and option B. Now, speed of the wave in region P. Okay, so V is equal to F into lambda. Now, during refraction, wa wavelength and speed changes, but there is no difference on frequency. Frequency remains constant, it does not change. So, if you see that in region P, the wavelength is greater, so as a result, speed will also be greater because frequency is constant, right? So, 
it means that in region P faster so it is option A our next question is from the same paper question number 27 the graph shows how the height of a water wave varies with distance along the wave which graph shows a wave with twice the amplitude half the frequency and the same speed so amplitude is the distance between mean position and the crest or mean position and the trough so here you see that the amplitude is 4 so we want to see first of all which option has twice the amplitude means the amplitude of 8 millimeter in option a if you see it is 2 millimeter so it is not the twice so option a is eliminated in option b it is 8 right we'll consider it option c it is again 2 so we will eliminate this 2 so we have an option d option d has also an amplitude of 8 millimeter so now we have to choose from option b and d half the frequency and the same speed now this is height and on x-axis we have distance we can't measure frequency from this graph for measurement of frequency we need a displacement time graph there must be time on x-axis so how will we determine half the frequency and the same speed we have a formula here v is equal to f into lambda now it says the same speed twice the amplitude and half the frequency if we want same speed and half the frequency then the wavelength must be doubled so that 2 gets cancelled with 2 and we have again v is equal to f lambda so actually what we need to find is which option gives twice the wavelength here the wavelength is from 0 to 1 complete cycle starts from here and it goes from 8 the wavelength is 8 so we need a wave form whose wavelength is twice means 16 centimeter so option B has a wavelength of here and all the way it is 4 centimeters so option B is eliminated we are left with option D let's check its wavelength it is 16 centimeter what we require so option D is the right answer okay gee, our next question is question number 18 from October November 17 variant 1 a wave is traveling in water in a glass sided tank the diagram shows a side view of the wave at one instant it is 4 centimeter 5 centimeter 4 centimeter is the amplitude and 5 centimeter is okay what are the amplitude and the wavelength of the wave okay amplitude is the distance from the mean position to the crest or from the mean position to the trough and so the amp this is the amplitude given here 4 centimeters so we have 4 centimeter amplitude option C and D are eliminated now we have to find the wavelength wavelength is the distance between two consecutive crests or between two consecutive troughs or between any two points that are in phase so here if you see this is the distance between this point and this point the wavelength is the length of one complete wave cycle one complete wave cycle will be this one so 
this is the wavelength and it is twice this distance which is given 5 centimeter so our wavelength will be 2 into 5 into 10 centimeter for wavelength 10 centimeter option B is the right answer okay our next question is question number 19 from October November 17 paper 1 variant 2 a sound wave in a solid is represented by a series of lines. The diagram shows compressions and rarefactions at one instant in time. Which statement is correct? All particles on one line move in the same direction at the same time. So all the particles here, 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 all the particles on one line move in the same direction at the same time. It seems right answer, but let's check another as well. The direction of travel of the sound wave is parallel to the lines. No, the direction of travel of the sound is here or here and it is perpendicular to the lines. The distance between a compression and its adjacent rarefaction is a wavelength. No. The distance between a compression and next compression is the wavelength. So, not the adjacent rarefaction. So, option C is also incorrect. The pattern of plan represents a transverse wave. No, it is not a transverse wave because the transverse wave is like this in which the M, the displacement is perpendicular to the direction of movement here the displacement of the particles is parallel to the direction of movement it is either in this direction or in this direction which is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave so option D is also not the correct option and the first option is the right option, option A.